Our challenge was to create a welcoming, warm environment that narrates a story from Jewish texts that speaks of leadership and the values of our school. We wanted visitors to our school to know that we are a Jewish day school as soon as they enter the campus. We decided on the Cypress Preserve Boardwalk as the location for our project, as it is the place where most people enter our campus from the main parking lot. It is a wooden bridge suspended above a beautiful natural preserve with towering cypress trees on either side. We created a ceramic art installation that can be seen along the bridge that exhibits the seven days of creation and the story of Adam and Eve. We chose a different tree or grouping of trees for each of the seven days of creation and the largest tree at the end of the boardwalk to tell the story of Adam and Eve. We used funds from the microgrant to purchase metal plaques that are mounted along the wooden railing of the boardwalk describing each exhibit. There are descriptions in English and Hebrew along with the corresponding habit from the seven habits of highly effective people and a QR code that links to a YouTube video of a high school student describing the installation. For the first day of creation, when Hashem said, let there be light, our fifth grade students created abstract geometric tiles glazed in black and white, representing the contrast between light and dark. For the second day of creation, when Hashem created water and sky, our fourth grade students created 3D clouds, and our second grade students collaborated to create colorful ceramic rain chains. Here's a closer view of that exhibit. On the third day, Hashem separated all the dry land and created trees, flowers, and seeds. Three different projects were created to represent the third day. These dark colored coil built seeds were made by fourth grade students. The seed like lanterns were created by 10th grade students and the hanging baskets holding air plants were created by sixth grade. On the fourth day of creation, Hashem created the sun, moon, and stars. These slab-built stars were assembled by 12th grade students and glazed by 4th grade students. On the fifth day of creation, Hashem made the waters teeming with life and sent birds soaring through the air. Our seventh grade students use their imagination to create intricate and colorful sea creatures and birds. On the sixth day of creation, Hashem created man, woman, and beast. Our third grade students had a great time designing and creating ceramic masks in the likeness of a man, a woman, or an animal. Here's a closer look. By the seventh day, the whole universe was complete and Hashem blessed this day and declared it a day of rest. These hamsas were created by eighth and ninth grade students. They use the surface of the hamsa to explore what a day of rest means to them. To represent the story of Adam and Eve, many projects came together for the final installation. Second grade students each created a section of the snake and a 12th grade student created the head. A bust of Adam and Eve can be spotted in the tree and the colorful fruits hanging in the tree were created by high school students. The boardwalk and the installation come to a close in unison making the perfect, colorful, welcoming, and educational environment for the entrance to our Jewish day school.